On today's Cooking with Drag Queens, we're making bibimbap, Korean mixed rice with a rainbow assortment of vegetables. Joining us is the high fashion queen, Kim Chi. So we're going to be making bibimbap, and we we're went to the- We're not cooking our dog? What? We're not cooking our dog? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm out of so you brought it up. This is Mark. He likes to cook. This is his husband, Fausto. He loves to eat. For years on Feast of Fun, they have been hanging out with the fiercest of queens. The people are still hungry for more, so it's time to set this kitchen on fire. Cooking with Drag Queens is made possible because of fabulous people just like you. Thank you. All the recipes featured on the series are available in our Season 1 cookbook. Check out our cookbook, t-shirts, aprons, tote bags, and more at our store. Feastoffun.com slash store. There's something magical about Korean pickled vegetables. Salty, savory, these rainbow delicacies are not only delicious, they're good for you. One of our favorite Korean dishes is bibimbap, which literally translates to mixed rice. Koreans think of bibimbap as a way to use their leftovers from the refrigerator, their day old rice, and all these savory dishes that are sitting around and they just throw them into one dish and it becomes a fantastic new meal. Joining us is our secret Asian queen, Kim Chi, who is the most talked about gal on the internet, who despite all the rumors of being on RuPaul's Drag Race, has yet to make it onto the show. Hi, my name is Sang, and my stage name is Kim Chi, and I love fashion. And a lot of people are like, is it Kim Kardashian or is it Chi because of Chicago? It's a cabbage, pickled cabbage. Every time I put on an outfit and I go out into the club, I see that as my runway. For me, drag is all about wearing the outfits and telling a visual story with that outfit. Drag helps me just expand my horizons and open up the world and have like an immediate audience and response for the work that I do. My drag sisters are always asking me, so what do you think about when you're not thinking about drag? And I'm like, food, I guess. I love Chinese food, I love Japanese food, I love American food, I love Mexican food, I love all food. I've eaten a live octopus, I've eaten a uh, cod egg sac, I've eaten silkworms, I've eaten... What are those called? Um, the underwater creatures that look like little penises. Easiest thing for me to cook when I'm cooking for other people is cereal. Welcome to Cooking with Drag Queens, Kim Chi. Ooh. Hi, thank you Hi. for having me. Hi. Here's a little gift for you guys. Oh, what thank is it? Thank you. Kim Chi. What's your name? Kim Chi. <laughs> What's in your hand? Kim Chi. Why did you name yourself Kim Chi after this wonderful dish? I feel like Koreans were very underrepresented in American pop culture, so mm -hmm. by doing drag and using the stage name Kim Chi, I figured it was a good way to introduce Korean culture to the American audience. So what's exactly in this? This is a Napa cabbage, Pickled stuff. Chili, chili paste. Everything. Mm. Antibiotics. <laughs> no, it's really good. <laughs> well, we have something for you, too. We went to the Korean market yesterday and we tried to find the craziest thing that we could find to eat. This is the craziest thing that I think I was willing to eat. And these are little crabs. Uh, oh my favorite. god. So good. Do you crunchy. like them? Yeah. Are okay. these actually safe to eat? You don't have to cook them? No, you just eat the whole thing. It's very, very crunchy. Really? You want one? Take like a spoonful of rice. On Did you eat one? Yeah, it's quite salty and crunchy. So, spoonful of rice. rice. Why do you eat the rice? Why can't you just eat it straight on? Because that's how you do it in Korea. It's like, okay, okay. Okay, Ready? one, two, two three. three. How is it? It's gone. Now I have crab in my teeth. Oh my god. 
It's good, right? It's like really soft. Like Leave crazy. your body fast, though. No, it's actually really good. You are the most talked about drag queen that's never been on RuPaul's Drag Race. And on this season, for season seven, everyone's like, there's a, there's a secret Asian queen that's going to make it on the show. And technically, you did, because a lot of your costumes were on uh, Trixie Mattel. <laughs> you were? I had no idea. Because she's your missing. best friend. Yes, she is. I love her. And she, you, when she got on the show, she's like, girl, I need some costumes. I mean, because sisters, we help each other out, you know. Mm. So we're going to be making Bibimbap, and we we're went to the- We're not cooking her dog? What? We're not cooking her dog? <laughs> okay, I'm out of so you brought it up. We're going to cook it in a pan to get that little caramelization on the bottom. We'll just put some rice in here and we're going to cook it for about 15 minutes on medium heat. There's okay. a thing in Korea called tomad, which literally means like the taste of your fingers. And oh, really? I believe in Korea that like it just has so much love. Oh, and it's oh here, well, here. <laughs> <laughs> now, here we have some uh, pickled vegetables that have already been made. Can we? Talk about this. This is kimchi over here. Yeah. Right? Yep. And this is sesame seed that we use on top. For like extra little nutty flavor. What's this over here? It's called oiji, which is like pickled cucumber. Okay, and then here we have, this is a, a pick, what is this? Pickled cabbage, which is a from a deli. sauerkraut. And here we have some pickled radish. Pickled radish, yep. Pickled carrots. We pickled it. Broccoli mm -hmm. and pickled bean sprouts. All right. This is called urn, sun-dried, sticky chili paste. <laughs> Over here is innards of a fish marinated. And you take like a little chopstick full of them, mix it with rice, and then you eat it together. I don't mind if people think I'm some rotten old cabbage because my name is Universal and it's easy to remember. If you translate it literally, grandmother or the taste of grandmother's hand. Oh my god, that's so good. With a hot bowl of rice. Disclaimer that says actual food can be different image. I guess we'll find out. They have like a really good for the lack of a better word, good peasant food. So it's nothing like restaurant quality fancy food, but these are the type of food Koreans eat every day. So today I'm eating artang, which is a cod egg sac soup. You can see the fish egg sac. Over here is just like a little marinated lettuce, kimchi, and this is called chapche, which is, there are these noodles made with sweet potato, so they're clear. Mmm. Bring a pot of water to boil and put about a little bit of a eh, half a teaspoon of salt. We're using Himalayan pink salt because we're gay. Y'all fancy. And fancy. And into that, you're just going to throw in a, basically a box of baby spinach. I'm just going to put that in there. Here you go. It's the least I can do. Thanks. And you're just going to stir that in there for about a minute. So this has been about a minute here, and I'm going to go right. over here and strain it. So you're going to take your boiled spinach, and you're going to squeeze, squeeze that water it. Out. Ooh, it's still hot. So you squeeze all the water out as much as you can, and then you bring it out into a, your counter, and you're going to chop it up a little bit. Right. Put that in a bowl, and you all put right. in some minced garlic, some... Some sesame oil, just a little, about a teaspoon of that stuff, mm. some uh, soy sauce, and we also need, uh, we're going to need some sugar and rice vinegar. So it's basically a third of the, there you go, or a tablespoon. All right. <laughs> and I just sprinkle a little bit of sugar on top. Stir that. And while you're doing that, Mark, why don't you uh, prepare the uh, shiitakes? Pearl convinced me to do drag first for Halloween. She was just like, hey, wanna do drag? And I was like, okay. We went to the store, bought all this makeup, bought all these brushes, and she dressed up as a devil, and I dressed up as the Minnie Mouse. We went to some random straight party downtown. We didn't have a good time, but we went to Boys Town afterwards, and that was a lot of fun. We're like, drag is kind of fun, wanna do it again? And I was like, yeah. I practiced for a month before I actually went out in drag of my own. 
and it's all been kind of like an escalating uphill or downhill, whichever. <laughs> You're supposed to talk? Then drag? Penis. I've been doing it wrong this whole time. <laughs> yeah. The time has come, Mark Felian, for you to stir fry for your life. Just see that walk. And that's right. And remember, <laughs> don't fuck it up. Now set this kitchen on, on fire. fire, darling. Yes. So you're just basically browning it. Oh, you yeah. can put a little water in there yeah, to keep water. it from burning. Okay. Throw in a little bit of salt mm -hmm. to try to get the um, mushrooms to sweat. I think another minute will be ready and then we'll, we'll start our uh, beef. So the meat is typically just kind of seasoned very subtly. But my favorite way to eat Korean style beef is bulgogi style, which is a little bit sweeter and it's usually over a barbecue pit. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna kind of give this uh, bibimbap a little bit of bulgogi style beef to sort of explore all the things that Korean cuisine has to offer. Ooh. Since we already ate pickled crabs, <laughs> which is better to have them inside your mouth than inside your pants. So now this is ribeye. That's been marinated with soy sauce, sugar, green onion, minced garlic, sesame seeds, sesame oil, and black pepper. So how much uh, meat are you putting in there? Not well, enough. I think it's gonna be enough for the three of us. I'd probably say this is gonna be about 12 ounces, maybe. Okay. Mmm, that looks so good. I know, I'm turned on. I like to perform fun comedy numbers. I did this Chinese food number. Trixie Mattel calls it my chinkiest number. I'm kind of poking fun at myself but also I'm kind of poking fun of the audience for laughing at something that is so stereotypically Asian. Yeah, this one time I didn't have that many dollars, so I was just like, Erin! When I plan out my songs and gimmicks, I try to like find the lyric and try to highlight those points of the lyric through the performance. I performed Britney Spears' Lucky. I was crying on stage because I was cutting onions the whole time. There's not a climax, this is the whole performance! People either love it or they despise me for it. And, you know, I had fun. So here is the rice that we've been sort of uh, pan frying. And I'm gonna just kind of flip a little bit of it over. You put the rice in the bowl first, right? Yep. We're making a mess here. <laughs> I'm a messy queen. What do you think about uh, like the Asian drag queen representation of RuPaul's Drag Race? Um, they have yet to have a Korean drag queen on that show, so <gasps> you'll be the first one. So now I'm arranging all the all the pickled vegetables. Will you help me here? Of course. Just start arranging these you in the bowl. You did very last. Is there like an order to these at all? No, not really. You just put the egg on top, but you put okay. this and then the sesame seed. Okay. Here, let me put this guy over here, and we'll do it in the same order, right? Yeah. It's a rainbow of magic and flavor. Mmm, mmm. <laughs> Don't forget the kimchi. Hey. For no, kimchi. that's on the side. Oh, that goes on the side? Yeah, yeah we eat this that on the side. This is a side dish. Okay. Yes, kimchi is so revered and so special. You get eat that on the side. <laughs> Once we put everything together, you give it a little douse of broth to help stir everything. Mm -hmm. So we have the vegetables, we have the rice, where's the meat? In Korea we use kitchen shears to cut everything. Oh. Well, I can't speak on the entire country, but this is what my family did. You know, we were doing arts and crafts with those earlier, so I hope they're... <laughs> oh, did you, did you wash them? Mm -hmm. Well, YOLO, whatever. You know, well, yeah, okay, yeah. so put the fine. beef in. Okay, so where do we put the beef in? Just on the side there. Yeah, just shove yeah. it in there. Shove it in there. Okay. Our bowl isn't big enough. I know, it looks so good. <laughs> okay, so then we have uh, three more things. We have the egg, the the seaweed, mm -hmm. and this sesame stuff too. seeds, and the red stuff called- I love that that in first, gochujang. Ko gochujang. Yeah. Go Chujang or Ko Chujang? Ko Chujang. Ko Chujang. And so how do we deliver that? Gorgeous so here, let me red go pepper paste. It's not as spicy as you think. And it comes in a little lunch pail. Yep. Okay. Can you just throw it in there? Right in the middle. That much? I like it that much. Yeah, okay. put it, give me like half of it. Half of it? Okay. Yeah. I'll have whatever you're having. Oh, well, All give right. me the full, give it the full to experience, me. The full, the full kimchi experience. Yes. Yes, girl. I love it. All right. Little egg? Yeah, daddy. Okay. Right there I like it when my guests call me daddy. 
So that we put this on and top. And then you take this and you crumble it up. Okay. But these are a little like soggy at the moment. So one more trick is. So you take an open okay. flame. Now that's going to be very, very hot. So you be okay. very, very careful. And then it's just like, Whee! makes it extra crispier. Oh. And you just crumble it in there. Ah! 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 So yeah, this there. is a little chicken broth and I took stems from the um, mushrooms and I and I cooked it in there so there's a little bit of mushroomy yeah. flavor too. Not a lot, just a couple spoons. Yeah. So this is bibimbap mm. with beef and a sunny side mm. egg. So we just bust it and mix Crack it? it? Yeah. And then you just the, like, take the bottom side of the spoon and then just oh. like, mix it all up. The first time I ever had this, I ate everything all by itself. I didn't realize you were supposed to mix it all together, but you just... Oh, this smells so good. Oh my god. I'm gonna try some right now. Oh my. Don't let me have my kimchi too. I must have my kimchi. She's stir frying for her life. <laughs> I'm mixing for my life. Mixing for her life. Oh. Mmm. So kimchi, good. you outdid yourself. Mmm. I didn't even do anything, I just showed up. We have a little surprise for you. You found me a man? Oh. A medal. For, for our little fermented cabbage, and kimchi, from Cooking with Drag Queens, your fashion may be high, but you'll always be down to earth for us. Oh, that is so sweet. Mm. Thank you. We're Here you totally go. <laughs> 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 Hold on a second. We're totally feeling your fantasy. Oh, thank you. Mm. And remember kids, <laughs> if you can't cook for yourself, how the oh, hell are you gonna, gonna cook, cook for somebody, somebody else? else? Can I get a bon appetit? Bon, bon appetit. appetit! Bye! Now let the credits roll! And when I was finally happy with myself is when I started doing drag and it's kind of like a calling that I didn't know I had but I love doing it and I couldn't imagine doing anything else now. I don't care if I'm the next America's Drag Superstar but as long as I have people who would, who's willing to look at my work and appreciate my work, I'm happy with that.